Oh, hello. Didn't expect to see you there. I'm uh, just making some videos at the moment, but welcome to uh, the new office of Physics Online, which is basically where I live at the moment, it feels like. Um, yeah, so what do you want to see? Anything. Anything, right. Okay, so this is like double the size of where I used to be. I guess the main thing is this area here where I actually make videos. Um, I often get other people maybe saying, you know, how am, I, how am I actually making the video? What pens am I using? It's all really simple, straightforward stuff. Basically, I just write on paper, and this is, um, if you can just about see it, it's just like a, a massive sheet of paper that I've kind of just taped down at the side. Um, and the good thing here is that now I've actually got a proper camera mount so that when I'm actually filming my hands over here, I can adjust the camera from above, uh, which is pretty handy, and it's just using these pens here. Um, a lot of people ask what they are, they're just V-Sign pens. Um, you can basically pause the video, but I just bought these on Amazon. But they just work really well when you're actually writing for video. So just keeping it simple, I've got like a microphone, and also I've got another camera that's facing me. So what's really good about these two cameras, um, I, I have to forget what they are, I'm not really into my photography, but these are like Alpha 6500s. Um, and I've got two of them which are identical, so this means I can now have different shots. So sometimes I'll have one here, sometimes I'll have it in a slightly different position. So this means I can film from two different angles when I'm making videos. So that's all good. Um, and yeah, I've got this new background. I used to just have the wall behind me, but this one here, um, we built, uh, me and Rufus, who's on the camera, but we built this massive frame out of scaffolding poles so that it means we can hang things from it. Um, and also this screen at the back is all kind of kind of nice and tight. So this is just like the white background. Um, and on this wall over here, this acoustic foam, it doesn't stop the noises from other places nearby, but it just means when you're talking, um, you don't have like the kind of the echoey sound. So this is just acoustic foam mounted on like a massive board. So that's like the kind of filming area. And compared to what I had before, it's just amazing. Um, I've got some lights up there which help and these lights here are kind of temporary um, and what I'm going to look to do is maybe mount these up higher and maybe get some more powerful ones so that I've just got kind of all the lights to work and the good thing now with this setup is I can come in and basically just with a couple of switches I can turn all the lights on and off so that's pretty cool so this is a filming setup um, and then over here this is something that I used to have all of this stuff in an office half the size I've just got storage for various bits and pieces if it's like, you know, tripods, some kind of filming gear. Um, I've got loads of stuff here that I've borrowed from uh, Beach and Cliff School in Bath and also from uh, people like Psychem who've um, just lent me some equipment. So it's just really nice to be able to kind of store the equipment up here as well as having extra storage with like grapnels, trays and bits and pieces. So yeah, um, that's kind of just storage on these like massive shelves. And then to really help with the storage, uh, I've got double what I had before. Um, these ones here, uh, this will probably make any kind of science technicians jealous. I've got all of these Gratnels trays, which I've just got everything sorted out. And what, what's really nice now is I even have some trays which are empty. So when I get more stuff in, especially if I'm doing videos about practical stuff, that can all kind of sort of fit in these things here. So um, pretty, pretty organized, I guess. I've got like, one of them is just different sorts of cellar tape. I've got my, I guess over here, if you want to come and have a look inside, we've got like, you know, the pens for filming, just so I don't run out. Um, also, you might have noticed I use quite a lot of Lego. And, it, and what I've tried to do is just sort it out by colour and by piece. Um, so although there's a lot of Lego there, it does make it really easy to kind of sort of find the right bits. And then I've also got bits of Lego. Um, which I've used for different videos. So it might be that I did one recently for sort of year 13, looking at um, uh, sort of special relativity. And this is kind of like a Van de Graaff and the kind of the thing for the, for the beam of, of like electrons. So there's some like really kind of nice bits of Lego that I've used for actually teaching physics. So we've got like different sorts of uh, emission and absorption spectra over here. We've got arrows. There's so much Lego. Um, including a lot of Lego that I use for the kind of sort of particle physics, which kind of really started it. And you might notice that Lego, it's good if I'm on camera and I'm kind of showing them, but I've also made these kind of big demo ones. So I can actually talk about, you know, maybe like uh, alpha radiation or beta, just on like a bigger scale. So I've just built those and actually finished these this morning. So yeah, quite a lot of Lego. And then going up here, 
there's just like loads of space Lego. So um, a lot of this stuff, well, it's just massive, but this one here um, just finished. This is like a new Lego thing. So if you're watching uh, and you've maybe seen this on the Lego web website, this is absolutely incredible. Just like the design, um, how it works, you know, the kind of the, the functionality. So this kind of thing here, just amazing. And I'm sure I'll get it into a video at some point. So yeah, so lots of Lego, obviously uh, for work purposes. Um, and then over here, I guess I've just spent a lot of money. I, I don't know how much, but yeah, so I've got like a new printer for like uh, printing A3, which is really handy for kind of using the paper I use for the videos and just like printing out, I suppose, lots and lots of past exam papers, which is going to be really my focus over the next year is just doing as many past exam paper questions as possible. Got a nice big computer for editing. Um, it's like a gaming PC. I can't remember the specs. It's like 64 gig. Um, it's proper, you know, I guess for a lot of you out there, this is probably a lot more powerful than you might have at home. So this was pretty, pretty impressive. Really good for live streaming and especially for using Premium Pro, uh, Premier Pro for, for actually filming stuff. That's like this computer here where I basically spend my days doing videos now. Um, and you can see on here, I've actually got all the different topic colors. So I've tried to keep consistent throughout. So I use the same blues, the same reds, the same yellows um, as I'm making the videos across different topics for like GCSE and A-level. Over here, I've got my laptop. Uh, I spend a lot of time, um, if I'm not in the office, if I'm working at home in the evenings or sat in my car working, that's really useful. At the moment, this is my next big plan, is doing data sheets. So uh, these ones over here, although I've printed it out big while I'm kind of checking through it, the plan is to have like all the equations you need on one side of A5. So this one over here, um, basically A-level physics, this one's an OCR A version. This is all the equations that you'd normally have on your formula and data sheet on one side of paper, which can be printed out in A3. Lots more coming up about that very soon. Um, and then I'm going to be doing the same as well for, for GCSC as well. And then just more Lego, uh, more paper, even more Lego. Um, just over here by the side, this is like my kind of whole power station and things. And then, uh, yeah, the view out today, out the window, a bit of an industrial estate in the foreground, but then there's some nice hills to look onto in the background. Um, yeah, so that is the office tour. Um, I'd say probably 95% of the time I'm in here on my own. Occasionally now I've got a couple of people who help me very much part time to do bits and pieces, but we're pretty used to working remotely, but it is nice to have um, I guess the space where we can all kind of sort of occasionally sit together and just chat about how we can take over the world of physics. Oh yeah, a plaque um, just pointed out. Yeah, there's uh, the plaque. I haven't even put it up on the wall yet. So this one over here, um, got it uh, the other week uh, from YouTube, the 100,000 uh, subscriber plaque. So that's, that's pretty cool actually. I think that's gonna be the only thing on the wall in the office. So yeah, that's uh, taken a lot of work to get there, but um, is it platinum next or diamond? Whatever, I'm sure we'll get there in a few years time. Hot on the heels of free science lessons. Um, any other questions? What are all the t-shirts for? Oh yeah, t-shirts. Uh, right, so um, I've tried to be, in the videos I've made, especially like the ones for GCSE, having like a fairly neutral t-shirt. So I've got like this kind of dark gray one um, and I've got another dark gray one here. And I think it's like another dark gray one. So what I did is just went to the H&M ones. They're like three pounds or four pounds each. So just like cheap ones, but it's nice to have that kind of neutral kind of thing in the video so that this is really, when I've made the video, so I've tried to have like plain white backgrounds behind me. I've had plain white bits of paper so that you can really focus on the physics. And again, rather than having lots of logos, I mean, I guess this one does say physics online and this is probably what I've used for like some of the live streams. But in terms of like the actual video content, I've just tried to sort of keep fairly neutral. So yeah. Uh, T-shirts in grey. Uh, I think I've got a black one for when I've done some of the GCSE live streams. I've used this white one for A-level live streams, having this kind of sort of black white theme on the different websites. And I've got an orange one that when we did some videos on TikTok, it really confused people. Uh, but that kind of goes with like my biking gear because I've got like a like a blue and orange bike. So that goes for any kind of mountain bike things we're going to do in the future. So yeah, that is pretty much the office. I mean, it's pretty standard. It's just like um, computer for editing, a filming space. But I think, you know, this stuff here that Grattanel sent me, which I'm really grateful for, that's really helped keep all of the stuff in, in here. 
And that means as I go and make more videos in the future, because I've got plans for hundreds or even thousands more videos over the coming years, um, it just means that the whole process is a lot slicker. So if you're a teacher, um, you can definitely maybe get some of this into like videos that you might make for your students in terms of like the camera angles. If you're a student, uh, you can start a YouTube channel and kind of make content, it's not impossible. Uh, and I know actually a lot of editing from kids is pretty good, actually a lot better than what I'm doing. But yeah, this is uh, the setup for physics online um, until we get even more massive and get a massive kind of studio in the future. But at the moment, this is like, this is the place to be. So yeah, that's just a quick tour of the office um, of physics online. Oh yeah, by the way, don't forget to subscribe and like, uh, you know the drill, and also turn on notifications so you keep updated with all the videos that are coming out uh, every sort of week and every month uh, for the next year. Thank you.